Hello, welcome to the weekly technical analysis review here at fsm.com. I'm Rafi Bayajian, and the pairs we're going to look at this week are the pound dollar, the euro yen, and the Aussie yen. So let's start first with a pound dollar pair looking at the uh, near term bias. Uh, we can see the positive momentum has started to fade. The RSI is trending low, though, still above 50. Stochastics are a bit more positive. There's still plenty of uh, upside momentum uh, according to the oscillators. Uh, but looking at the intraday price action, uh, we do have a sharp dip from uh, Friday's uh, top of 1.27. Uh, if prices continue to drift low, we're likely to see support coming from the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement uh, of the down leg from 1.3381 to 1.1957. So that comes at 1.2501. Uh, so slipping below that level could see a pound dollar uh, head towards the 20-day moving average at 1.2385 uh, uh, and below that we've got the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement at 1.2293 uh, which is also near the 50-day uh, moving average. Uh, if prices are un unable to hold above the 50-day moving average uh, we'd like to see the risks shifting back to the downside uh, and uh, we can see the bearish uh, action uh, gaining a further traction. Uh, looking at the more medium-term picture uh, it's uh, starting to look a bit more neutral uh, but uh, in order to see a shift to more uh, positive outlook uh, we will need to see a daily close above the 50% Fibonacci of 1.2669 uh, and also the 200 day moving average at 1.27 uh, 1.2715 uh, 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 and then uh, we would like that would give us a more uh, stronger signal uh, that things are turning around uh, for cable and then higher up we've got 61.8% Fibonacci at 1.2837 uh, let's now turn to the euro yen pair uh, uh, again it's looking uh, quite positive uh, f in the near term uh, lo looking uh, at the stochastic oscillators though uh, we, we could be heading towards a bearish crossover of the percentage k and percentage d lines percentage k has started to uh, dip uh, lower uh, the, and also the fact that it's in uh, overbought uh, territory uh, that's a sign of a possible uh, correction uh, the main reason for the weakness is that prices uh, failed to uh, close substantially above the Ichimoku cloud on Friday uh, and are retreating uh, at the moment. Uh, the prices are back inside the cloud, uh, though still above that uh, long-term descending uh, trend line. Uh, so that's the nearest support currently at 118.92. Uh, if prices are un unable to hold above the trend line, uh, we're likely to see uh, further drift downwards uh, towards the 20 and 50 day moving averages which are in the region of 118 Point, uh, 20 uh, and then uh, slipping below uh, that uh, support region uh, we could see uh, the uh, those lows uh, of uh, early October uh, coming back into play at 117.05 uh, and then below that uh, euro yen uh, could head back to, towards that two and a half year low of 115.85 uh, if though uh, we do see uh, further uh, upside or the upside momentum uh, coming, uh, taking over again, uh, we would have to see a break above the key 120 level. So that's been an important uh, resistance level uh, several times uh, in the past. Uh, above that, we've got another important resistance at 121.30. Uh, uh, and then after that, uh, we would have to see a rally towards the 123 level if we if we're going to see uh, a, a positive shift in the medium term picture for a uh, euro yen uh, and our final pair for today uh, looking at uh, the Aussie versus the Japanese uh, yen uh, it's looking rather neutral both in the short term and in the medium term uh, the RSI uh, is uh, pointing downwards holding just above the 50 neutral level uh, the MACD we can see uh, is uh, very near the zero uh, level uh, at the moment uh, we do have uh, immediate support coming from the 73 handle uh, if that support fails uh, we could see prices uh, head towards the 23.6 percent 
Fibonacci retracement uh, of that uh, down leg from 80.70 to 69.94. Uh, so if that's uh, if the 23.6 percent Fibonacci uh, doesn't hold, uh, then we could see uh, a decline towards the 10-year low of 69.94 from uh, back in August, and that would uh, shift uh, the the, the medium term picture back to a bearish one. Uh, on the upside, uh, we did see uh, resistance just below the 74 handle uh, on Friday. So that's near the 38.2% Fibonacci uh, retracement. Uh, so a break above the, the 74 handle uh, could strengthen the upside momentum. Uh, and then we could see uh, Aussie Yen uh, uh, heading towards the 50% Fibonacci at 75.32. So we would need to see a break above the 50% uh, Fibonacci uh, in order to, uh, first of all, more convincingly say that the downside risks have diminished uh, for the medium term outlook. Uh, and then that would we would also be able to say uh, that uh, a positive picture uh, is back uh, within scope. So that's it for me. Thank you much for watching and have a great day.